Hey class, we got video number two here for 2D momentum. Just understanding again how we kind of look at direction and the momentum before, still being the same as momentum after, but looking at our X and Y components as well. So let's get into it. We're going to do question five and seven from the 2D momentum actual worksheet. So let's get into this right now. Okay, there it is. All right, it says. Uh, an 850 kilogram car moving due east, so car mass 850, velocity 12 meters per second. We're going to have momentum, kind of looking just at that right now, of 10,200, okay? Collides with another car going north, okay? With a mass of 620, velocity 24, which means we get a momentum of 14,000. 880, I think. Yeah, 880. Okay, right. it says, as a result of the collision, the two cars lock together. Okay, so these cars kind of basically lock and head off in this direction. What is the velocity after the collision? Remember, velocity means magnitude and direction, so I need both. All right, when these two cars lock, again, they're going to stay together and move off together. You can kind of imagine because there's a east and a north, it's going to head northeast. All right, so let's kind of put these together. It means I'm going to have to basically not add, but combine this momentum and this momentum in vector form. Okay, so I want to find what momentum final is here. And for that, because they're two different components, they're going in different directions, I need my a squared plus b squared to kind of figure this out. So 10,200 squared plus 14,880 a squared. I know the big numbers. I'm sorry. It's just it's big momentum. We're talking about cars here and collisions. It's kind of what happens, okay? When you get to the square root, you should get under this. Three, two. Okay, yeah. Three, two. Five, four, five. Five, four, five. I think 4,400. Four, four, zero, zero. I am really big. Nonetheless, momentum final. I do not need that now. My bad. Is going to be 18,040. Cool. Kilogram meters per second. So that is the momentum. It asks here that what is the velocity after the, the after the collision. So uh, again, this one we have we have momentum. So all I, I know, we have some masses. We need to find the velocity when things actually stick together. When there's a collision and they stick together, to get velocity, all we have to do is go our momentum over our mass total in the sense of what is the two masses kind of together. And so it's going to be this 18,040 over 1,470, which is just the 620 plus the 850. And so I believe I got a velocity of 12.3, if I got that right. Yeah, 12.3 meters per second. Now let's still figure out the angle. All right, again, when we go back to our angle, we're going to go our, our y over our x, and we're going to use the momentum. Okay, you can't use the mass or velocity because we need that together. So this we're going to use our momentum one. So our Y is going to be our 14,800 over our X, which is 10,200. That's going to be like the tan inverse Y of Y over X. So you're going to use your momentum as the Y in X. All right. So when I do that, I should get an angle of 55 degrees north of east. Right, cool. That question is done. That one's kind of very similar to a vector one we would have done before. So hopefully not too, too bad. Um, cool. Last question. We have an explosion, um, which is good because we haven't done a question kind of like that yet. A little tricky, but not too, too bad. Let's go to question seven. Talk about question seven. So again, an explosion is just anything that starts off as one entity and then separates into two. So we, there is a question earlier that Mr. West was on a skateboard. Technically, when I jumped off a school, skateboard, I created like an explosion. Me and the skateboard were together and then two pieces went different directions, okay? This is a more typical type of explosion where something actually explodes into different pieces. So, at the beginning, we had something moving east, moving east, okay? Mass of nine, <clears throat> velocity of 12, momentum of 108 east, okay? That is the momentum beforehand. That also has to be the momentum afterwards. Even though they break into different pieces, and I'm going to use different colors, the like result, if you were to add those two pieces back together, has to still be this, east. 
It says the larger five kilogram piece moves straight down south. So it breaks into this. Mass of five, velocity of 15, and a momentum of 75, but totally south. Okay, not anywhere in our east direction. So it says find the result, like find the velocity, <coughs> which is speed and direction, of the other fragment, the, the mass of four. Okay, because we had nine, we had nine mass over here, we had a mass of five here. So we know that there's gonna be a mass of four. Mass of four. Now, how do I know what's gonna happen here? Okay, this one can kind of be tough to figure out, but if you kind of think about this, if I were to put this here, it, it kind of looks like you'd have a resulting angle here, but again, if you add this up here to this part, I'm gonna need kind of this direction. This one is gonna to have to go in this direction, okay? And I already know my X and Y components are going to be. I need this to still have this 108 east, okay? Because this had no X component whatsoever. Again, I still need that 108 momentum east. And because this south momentum came kind of out of nowhere, not out of nowhere, the explosion happened, I need to cancel that out. I need to, again, in this beforehand momentum, in the Y component was zero. There was no Y component. It was fully in the X component. And so if I create some kind of Y component, I have to also cancel it out. So my Y component here also has to be 75, again, kind of north in the opposite direction. I want to cancel out this one and make sure that I still have my 108 beforehand. Because again, that's what I need to have. I need to have a momentum afterwards of still just 108 east. So now I know my X, I know my Y, I can figure out what the momentum of this is using those two numbers, okay? So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. My momentum in the end using the 108 and the 75 will be a momentum of 131.5, 131.5 kilogram meters per second. Now it's asking for the velocity. What is the velocity? of the smaller fragment. Again, the nice thing is I just have to divide by the mass to get the velocity. So 131.5 divided by four, that's the mass that's left. Okay, gives me a velocity of something quite big. I think it's 32, 32. 32.9 meters per second. Still need the direction, which is these two components. Okay, so 75 over 108, when I do my tan inverse, 75 over 108, and I get 35 degrees. 35 degrees north of east. Okay, so there's how to kind of look at a question like this. What are the momentum before? Has to be the same as after. So if I create some kind of new component like a Y, again, it has to be canceled out. Because basically, again, here's what was before. There's my 108 still after. These two cancel out. And so that's and this is what you end up with as a result is this angle on this actual magnitude. Okay, class, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. Um, but yeah, hopefully it makes sense. All right, perfect. Hope you guys are doing well. Have a great day.